Welcome everyone, I'm Monica Bertrand of Bloomberg Television and I'll be your host for the Solutions for Small Business webcast series brought to you by Bloomberg, Cisco and your local cable operator. In each webcast, we'll explore ways to give your business an edge. Today we are joined by Jane Applegate. She is the author of 201 Great Ideas for Your Small Business and we'll be discussing cost-effective marketing strategies Jane and I sat down together a few days ago in Bloomberg Studios in New York. We'll watch the first part of that discussion in a few minutes, and then Jane will join me, and we will answer some questions afterwards. Also, please take a moment to respond to the poll that will pop up on your webcast screen. The question today, do you plan to hire new workers in 2010? We'll take a look at these results once we are back live. Now, let's start our program. In these challenging times, getting the word out and promoting your business or product is more important than ever. I spoke to some entrepreneurs about what they're doing to market their businesses. The activity that we do most often is in-store demos where I set up a table and I sample Fizzy Lizzy to people as they're shopping. The fact is that human resources and employees are your greatest marketing asset. And each company needs to use those employees to expand their business and expand the relationships that they have with clients. We focus largely on in-store support where the customer gets a chance of experiencing the product, whether it is through sampling, testers, but also sales associates telling the story to the customer so that they get intrigued. Joining me is Jane Applegate, author of 201 Great Ideas for Your Small Business, published by Bloomberg Press. Jane helps big and small businesses create innovative and cost-effective marketing solutions. We'll be answering your questions as well between segments. Now you can send in your questions using the box provided on your webcast screen. Now Jane, let's start though by breaking down a few important points that business owners need to know. And it's really the differences between advertising, public relations, and marketing. Yeah, just to cover the basics quickly, most people know that advertising is when you buy space on radio or television or a print ad. Um, you control the message, which is great. You get to say exactly what you want, but it can be expensive, although the rates now are actually pretty competitive. Let's talk about public relations because really, you, you know, you're pitching your message, but it's not costing you anything. This could be a cost-effective way to get your message out. Right, absolutely. Um, you want the media to transmit your message, to talk about your product or service. Again, you don't have any control over when or where that segment will air. Uh, but it gives you a tremendous third-party endorsement. And how are people going about this? I mean, obviously, it's newspaper, it's magazine coverage, things like that. Yeah, there's so many outlets now that um, you should be pitching web reporters, television reporters, radio, and print. The co-owners of La Falapa Restaurant say they spent a lot of their time working on public relations for their restaurant business. We've been fortunate enough to have great connections with um, Time Out Magazine, New York Magazine, because um, I think they enjoy our food. And so we'll call them and say, hey, we're doing something new, or, you know, we do a lot of that ourselves. We're two, two small restaurants that, that we do pretty well. We're really happy with what we do, but we're not big enough to have a publicist. Let's talk about marketing, of course, the basics there, because this takes you into an entirely different realm. Uh, cost involved in this part of your marketing plan, though. Yes. Uh, the fun part about marketing is it covers everything else. It's online, um, it's promotional products, it's in-store sampling. Uh, you control the message, you're uh, naming the time and the place, and you have a lot of control. You can also track everything you do. Now, Jane, one affordable way to keep your business on the minds of consumers is to give them something practical or fun with your company name and contact information. Now, I met up with Julie Levy, who makes her living promoting other people's businesses. Promotional products are the last part of the puzzle to help yield that result. So if a client is trying to improve their sales or increase their business, we would provide them with promotional door openers to get into their prospect stores and close the door, close the sale. Now, Julie definitely has some great products, but let's not forget the most powerful free marketing strategy, and that's word of mouth. 